Queen's Urban Pass has come to Auburn to work with Rockfield Primary School and the Auburn Community Bureau on the Old Auburn Project. Primary 6, 6, 7 and 7 and the Gaelic unit have been learning about collecting memories which is also known oral history. With the SUP we practice interviewing skills and how to use a film camera. We came up with our own questions to put to older members of the Auburn community who we invited up to our school. These interviews have been put together in a special film just for you, so sit back, relax and join us as we learn about life in the past from some lovely Auburn residents. Scotland's Urban Past is funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund and led by Historic Environment Scotland. Auburn Community Bureau is funded by Young Star. You need to organise yourself, you need to figure out who's going to ask the questions and who's going to answer the questions, okay? And you can all swap about and who's going to look after the camera for this shot, okay? Yes. Introducing why you're doing it as well. We're here we're part of Scotland's Urban Past project. We really want to find out more about what Auburn was like in the past. We've got some questions we'd like to ask you. Is that okay? What was school like? Uh, well, it was a wee bit frightening going to school because in those days it was seem a bit harder than you get it now. School was. Uh, very strict and uh, sad to say we were very frightened of the teachers so it's very different now to what it was then. We didn't have a uniform when I first started school okay. uh, but I did have a gym sleeve. Is that like the stuff you wear for gym? Yeah, a sleeveless pinnacle. Oh right. With a blouse underneath. Okay. And then there was a spell that we got that you could wear whatever you liked. Oh, nice. Rockfield was lovely. Um, I used to get collected by the headmaster. I lived on Colbert Hill at the time, and the headmaster used to collect me and take me to school because I was so late starting school I didn't want to go. The teachers weren't as friendly as they are nowadays. There was one in particular that was the infant teacher and everybody was terrified of her. They actually thought she was a witch. Um, how many people were in each class? When I was a little girl, um, probably about 25, in about that, 25. Are there any shops the same, same as when you were a child? Well, the, the layout in Auburn is much the same, the shops, the premises are much the same, but the shops have nearly all changed. There's very few that are, um, that are the same as when, when I was young. Yeah, Tesco's was always there, it was running that dim 
uh, you know where the opticians is in Oban now, not Specsavers, but the other one at the bottom, they had a wee shop there, and then they had a wee shop just where the picture house used to be in Oban. There was a Tesco there, and then it sort of branched out and went all over the place. But yes, there was a Tesco, and there was different other shops still there as well. An awful lot more people now, and a lot of the things in Oban, like the railway station or Rockfield School or the high school or Ganavan, have all been taken away or even along the front there was a putting green and there were shelters, Victorian shelters. I think that the planners have made a lot of mistakes in Oban. And Robun Sporzakov. And Robun Sporzakov. Boon Spores. Oh, June Opera Vakit Agus Croson. Jeva and Parton Akat a Jane of his own opera. My father, she cursed him of all the loved. And we'll go per her fellow von an open, I guess Jeva Regianov. Well, I may copy your fellow, but no, but. The punishment. Eh, oh, the bell. You got to get your hand out. And if you're really bad, you got four of them, two in each hand. I should be seeing you in guard, I can forget. Shiva, Shiva, Gicha, Alps, and Skull. That's when you keep your peace and it's cash, it's pieces fill, ooers, dates, good in the shroom. Three Nashorsha canon of a sheep, a gunsug, out in skull. A garlic, a shiny thing, so how can I ask the most new thing to fail them? And raw sheep air and ticket, and Roshif a clay sports mau marbau caution of cricket. Cricket? Yeah. Oh, but Roshni, Roshni, and you seen the school happen. Football, golf course, it's in. What's your favourite place in Oban? Um, I like Oban. I like Oban a lot. I love being up at uh, McCaig's Tower, looking down on Oban. But one day last week, I go out with the walking group in the town with the old folks. And last week we were up at the viewpoint up Pulpit Hill. Have you all been there? Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, and it's lovely. And it was last Friday morning. It was freezing cold. It was an icy wind blowing, but it was beautiful. It was sunny, and the sun was shining down on the town, and it looked absolutely beautiful. Um, I think that would be my favourite place. It's a. Uh, uh, Either that or McCaig's Tower. My favourite place is along the seafront. I love to walk along the seafront, right along to the War Memorial. On a good day, that is. But I like to look because you can look right across to the islands. So that's my favourite place to go. I think maybe McCaig's Tower. Because you can go up there and uh, get the view right over all the islands and go to all different angles there and get nice photos. Yeah, I would say my case tower, but my favourite place, Pim. Galanach. Hmm. 
<laughs> That's where we lived when I came here to open first. I lived in the anchorage down there. I'm pretty sure that's where my uh, uh, cousin lives now. Is it? Really? I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have lots and lots of happy memories of down there. Mm -hmm. My dad worked in the boatyard just opposite the, the, the anchorage. He was, as, as I told you, he was a boat builder and uh, he was there repairing boats after the war. So that's why we lived down there. So there were lots and lots of happy memories. Mm. <laughs> My favourite place to go. The Cathedral of Trees. Do you know where that is? Well, it's up at Glen Crutton Estate, way out. You go up past the golf course, right on the windy road up, and you come to the Cathedral of Trees. And inside the Cathedral of Trees, there is, it's like made out of trees, and it's like choir stalls, a... There's two graves at the top, which belong to Macan's. Uh, I can't remember what their names are now, but that was a favourite walk of mine. Yeah. I probably don't know. Port Peak. Uh, do you know where it is? Do you know where Witherspoons is? Yes. You know when you go right round, there's a little white house just at the and it's where the, the lifeboat is now. Now that's for big. That's where I used to pray, but the lifeboat wasn't there when I was young. That's where I prayed all the time. Has what you're trying to get into the frame, yes? When I say the frame, it's obviously what I mean is what you can see through the viewfinder. 